I mean, if we have a close by Plasteel, we can start getting Marine Helmets. Uh, there's 600 Plast... Well, that's actually pretty close. We can switch to Marine Helmets. Yeah, we can go Marine Helmets. Kind of crazy. Yeah, it was pretty nutty. Ah, uh, Manager back. Speaking of Manhunters. That close. We could just go ahead and burn them. You know what? Let's just do that because then I can just go ahead and... Uh, and go back to mining Plasteel immediately, which we really need to do. I normally wouldn't burn Manhunters. They're just an easy, easy thing to deal with, you know? Right, we don't have assault rifles. <laughs> I was way too close to those. It ended up being fine, but... Heat wave. Bows only? How do you kill mechs? This might surprise you, but with bows. This is literally the only way we have. <laughs> if your answer or your question is ever how do you kill x how do you defeat y the answer in this run is always going to be the bows it's difficult and we've had lots of deaths but that's still the only answer it's the only option we have <laughs> or fire which is from flame bows that's a lot of uh dying animal sounds how do you build a wall we use bows a bow is a wall yes how do you build a bow with our elbows. Can't use our hands, and we have to manipulate with our elbows. I had to show you how it's done, too, because you didn't know what an elbow was. You're welcome. Legolas would be proud. Oh, we, we could do a multi-shot. Legolas would be really proud. All right, let's, uh, let's speed up the walk area here. Get some of that concrete ASMR going. Mech raid. All scythers. Melee block or call in a meat shield. Um, I feel like we just melee block these ones. There was a nimble. I know we have at least three tough ones. There's tough nimble. Nice. Oh god, heat stroke. I forgot about the the heat wave. Okay, marksman command. And if we really need it, we have a zerg pulse. Only 57 Celsius, yeah, <laughs> only. The Zerg Pulse coming in super handy. All Masterwork at least, mostly, yeah. And there's a few excellent still, but... We're mostly Masterworks now, so... Masterworks, uh, com or shooting command, and three tough melee blockers. Oh, the heat stroke. Jungle man, the jungle. So yeah, glad I got this done. Nice, that's nice. Go ahead and build a roof over that so that uh, worry about plants growing in there at all. Ship crash, Persona Core. Oh, if we can save them, that's probably going to be our easiest way to get a Persona Core, and it's a single, single star. If this turns out to be tribal, we can do it no problem. We can probably handle that. We're gonna take this for sure though. Yeah, one trooper. God. Hopefully this falls in a close by area. Close by, at least. We do have side cast, so. Excuse me. Oh, don't, don't shoot him. All right, we got two berserk pulses. As long as it doesn't like explosive pirates, we should probably be able to take care of it. There's some skeletons in my labyrinth. Where? Oh, those are just decorative. Trust me. They don't look decorative. They're decorative. Bio starvation. No one's feeding the beans. Hurry up, shuttle. We got beans to feed. All melee tribal. Third pulse is pretty good. Easy Persona Core. 
Thanks to Berserk Pulse. Go feed the beans. Imagine you have one of these quests in the, um, the, the quest guy that's supposed to live has like a heart attack and dies. <laughs> Great Vo ASMR, that's right. The Persona Core! Yay! We did it! Hey, mine this. We gotta hide the Persona Core so no one destroys it. All right. That over there. Get that over there. Build a wall. Why do you use Lucifer on some runs? Lucifer is an incredible drug. It's super good as long as you can keep people supplied with it. Like if it was just an easy thing to do that you didn't even have to think about and yeah, you, you could just get enough loose fear him, you know, for everyone to have it every 6.6 .6 days, then there would be no reason not to have it because it's super good. Yeah, I think loose fear him and go juice best two like um, drugs as far as, you know, survival, getting things done in combat. Yeah. Luciferium not only will heal uh, some permanent injury on a pawn every 15 days on average, it also increases blood filtration by a lot. Uh, that person's basically never going to die from a disease. Um, it's going to be much harder for them to bleed out. It's just really good. You could have a lifetime supply of Luciferium, would you? IRL. I mean, if there was no way to ever run out of it, sure. Yeah. Give me those mechanites. Same, same answer for go juice. No. <laughs> Adam's a drug addict. I don't know. It's mechanites for me. Things. Uh, thanks. But yeah, Lucerium is a uh, is a really 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 good drug. Wrath Rumbo. Ooh, that would. Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> Usually we just go gun those down. Anyway, that would help us ally the Empire. That's for sure. Tame the throw from meat shields. Yeah, it'd be very hard to. We we can't really tame them. But if we did somehow, it'd be very hard to feed them in this. Oh my God! An explosion of babies. We must have been on like nine through 12 or something because we've done these in uh, groups of four, right? All right, the marine helmets are coming in. We still got plenty of gold and quite a bit of steel. I think we are going to work on getting to marine helmets on everyone. As we build this up, we're going to look for one more Neuroquake. We're going to ally the Empire and then we're going to start building the ship. Those are the big goals, I should say. All right, well, speaking of allying the Empire, let's see where we are on this tusk. What? We have 64 elephant tusks? Oh my god. <laughs> Let's see what this will get us to the Empire. Jeez, man. I knew there was a lot of elephants coming through here to eat our mushroom. I didn't realize we'd killed... Getting close to 100. Alright, let's see him. Plus 75. Almost almost allied just off that. It's a lot of tusks, yeah. I don't know how to expand. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, I was talking about it earlier. Right now, we're we don't have a lot of blocks, and we're using our drills to get plasteel out. I'm thinking probably when we're done sucking up all this plasteel, we'll switch over and get some blocks for a little bit, and then we'll expand some more. We are actually eating through a crap load of food. I actually think I might get rid of the monkeys. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this. Um, it's gonna increase our tick rate a little bit too. Sorry, monkeys. We are no longer gonna use you as meat shields. Keep the dogs for now, though. Oh, we're about to have a bunch of uh, elephant meat, though. So, maybe I did that a little preemptively. That also allows us to finish allying the Empire. Uh, as far as the pumps go, we can use the pumps. The problem is we have to put them on top of bridges uh, for the easiest way to, to dry that out. Might still be worth it, but that's a lot to dry out. Should have bought more wood from the other, uh, the other trader, I guess. Doomed without the monkeys. What have we done? Hopefully don't get doom rocketed without the monkeys. You know what's kind of nice about these bows, actually? Because they do way less damage than the assault rifles, we don't really destroy our stuff as much. They're a little bit more accurate and they're not as... not as, uh, high damage, right? So... Like, when we attack bugs around the drills, we don't really destroy them. If we had all assault rifles, like in a normal run, absolutely, those are gone. All right, getting those blocks done. And yeah, I think I'm going to use some wood to get this done. Be nice just to have a second layer, you know? And we can always tear it down afterward. Oh, man, that's going to take a lot of steel and stuff. All right, Emerald Queen, let's see what you get for your tier two. What temperature is my fridge set for? It's very cold now, just because of heat waves. Um, It is... It's set very cold, but people were going in and out of there so often. It's basically right at freezing. 
have it set all the way down, but it doesn't get that low with just those. What would it take for this colony to fall? Oh, this colony's not completely safe at all. We're only using bows. There's so many things that can kill us. We don't have... We can't use mortars. We can't use turrets. Two big mech clusters. A big siege. Explosive pirates. Understand how to offset the temperature. Oh, if you're trying to save... Um, so if... What you can do is you, if you have multiple coolers and you don't want them all running all the time, you can actually just make each cool, cooler like two notches below the other. And then if just one is enough to make it cold, the other two will be off saving you power, especially if you're using batteries. Uh, you know, if it takes only two, then only two will be on. But you just you can stagger the temperatures on coolers if you want to save on a little bit of power. Generally, I don't worry about it and just make more coolers, honestly, but you can do that. So... We're going to use up a bunch of components to just get this done. Uh, multiple angle is attacking immediately. Okay. Really like a third flame bow. Oh, it's all melee. Almost all melee. The boss has a gun. Time the oven. Yep. Tiny arrows made of lead. They're going to try to steal what they can and leave. What? They're trying to steal drugs and things from the... From the tunnel? Hey! Don't dig out! Oh my god, I don't want to go repair that, you jerk. Look at that. They're just stealing stuff that... The other raid that dropped snipers and stuff and they're left. <laughs> Free cleaning crew. <laughs> they leave their friends to die. Only one of the three groups did it. They took some guns and some drugs and they headed out. Uh, 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 uh. We're uh, uh. Look, all the loot's in the tunnel. We don't even have to raid them. Now these guys have dropped even more, so the next one... Yeah, since we're not using any kind of um, actual resource in here to burn, we're just literally using the heat from the flame bows themselves striking the ground. Um, We'd have to shoot for a little bit longer for it to get hot enough to, to light up. Unless we had a third flame bow. Great place for a meal. My favorite place to snack, the oven. All right, uh, legendary great bow, nice. Give that to one of the founders here. All right, so drying that out. It's going to take so much steel and components because I'm going to do it the cheesy way. So for anyone that doesn't know, a moisture pump will dry the spot under it immediately. So what you can do, if you have enough steel and stuff coming in, is you can just install it, destroy it, install a new one, destroy it. Just keep doing that. All right, let us begin. Start with those four. Oh, solar flare. Seems sensitive it is, but it saves so much time. All right, so we got those four done. Legendary marine helmet. Excellent, excellent. Oh my God, we are almost done with marine helmets. We're gonna stack from like a rare case or we don't have melee or gun. Great bows are, are pretty good. It's just the, they're really slow and they don't have a lot of armor pin for how slow they are, but they're good range. They're good accuracy. They're actually pretty decent damage. It's comparable. It's like, it's almost like a lower tier of um, a bolt action, really. That's interesting. That's interesting. We could add that to the uh, gene pack and spread gene. I mean, we don't really need to, though, right? We could just get some uh, free plasteel instead. And we don't really need that in this run. That would be better if we had some Arco or Archite genes. Uh, yeah, I'll just take the, I'll just take the free little bit of plastic. We don't need this. Watch me get a good Ar uh, Archite Gene after this, though. Ah, that's fine. Are you guys setting up shop? We gotta make sure we destroy your uh, your torch that you use. Don't kill our mushrooms with your torchlight. Our people are gonna be unhappy when they see your torchlight. In our in our kitchen? <laughs> okay. Monica, Mitsuya, and Pam. One of these is not like the other. One of these just doesn't belong. A specifically treated wooden torch that produces a red light over a large area. Single phages gather around torches like these during their ceremonial meetings. The sanguine glow is particularly pleasing to individuals. The blood feeder gene be automatically refueled with wood and produces a small amount of heat. Yeah, as soon as they're done, they're done with this, we will uh, we'll get rid of that torch, though. Give me a little bit. <laughs> the guy's just cooking. He's like, man, he's like straddling that blood torch. The vampires are trying to do their sacred meeting or whatever. He's like, I don't care. I got I got food to make. I got bills to pay. Would you vampires get off the map already? I got a torch to destroy. Monica, you are slightly inconveniencing me. Yeah, and then we'll dry this up. We'll get uh, another defensive ring um, while we're getting a soldier gene on everyone and getting more 
people set up. Favorite ideology style? Um, I like... There's quite a few of them. I I like techist uh, for, like, the doors and tables and stuff. For the gear, I like morbid helmets. I like the spike core, like, dusters and stuff. There, there's quite a few good ones. Oh, no. Toxic Fallout. Oh, no. It's going to kill everything. Oh, no. We don't care about that at all. Totemic dining chairs. There's a lot of cool ones with Totemic in, um... Uh, like their their mats and stuff too, or the, whatever the almost like wood carpeting. <laughs> it's kind of weird, you know, like the like mural, mural type things. Uh, the cool thing about the styles for anyone that doesn't know the ideology, it goes from left to right. You can add three of these. So if you like, so for instance, you like rustic, you like what it adds, but it doesn't add any chairs. You can then put in the second slot something that adds chairs that you like, and it'll use both. Um, and the one on the left supersedes the one on the right. So, for instance, as you can see here, this is going to change the stool and the tables, and therefore we don't get the spike core uh, tables. All right, so we got four more of those. Much, much faster than waiting multiple seasons for that to dry out. Rustic and Tekus. Yeah, I do like Tekus. I really like their, um, I hardly ever use it anymore, but I like their, like, honeycomb steel tile. It's kind of nice having a... If you want to go that route, fancy flooring. It's kind of nice having one that you can just make out of steel. Steel is so easy to come by. Yeah, I, I don't know. I try to switch it up every now and then. Especially with um, when we're doing a run where I'm going to have advanced helmets. And yeah, there's some crazy ones, though. Like the Animus helmets. Friggin' massive. Animus, like, cataphract helmets are huge. <laughs> it's, like, shocking every time I, see, I use them. All right, that spot's almost done. We lose some materials, for anyone that's wondering. Like, when we deconstruct it, we're losing some materials overall, but we're saving, like, literal in-game years of time dry trying it this way instead. So I think definitely worth. After this, we should probably start putting uh, auto doors in places as well. Deep Rhinoceros. We can get an Architect arm for just killing 80 rhinos. I think... Oh, man, a Psychic Harmonizer. Am I... Might go that route. Don't we have like a sanguine? I think I'm gonna get the harmonizer, honestly. Mm. They're, they're a lot less rare than uh the architect arm, but yeah, I think we want to go that route. Psychic harmonizer. So for anyone that doesn't know, we're gonna put that in someone's brain, and then whatever their mood is, they're basically gonna give an R of it. Yeah, and if we get a joy wire, joy wire, maybe two. Uh, I'll have to look through and see who's the best candidate for this overall. Champions arrive. We don't we don't need any champions. Out of here. They may die with no... Yes, I know. Oh my god, how many... Why are so many of you? You're trying to help with such an inconvenience. Oh, there's still another Ancient Danger. I forgot about that. Yeah, the only problem with making it a vampire, I guess they would be immobile. Yeah, maybe we should have captured one of those. Maybe, maybe. It's easy to get the beacon going that way, but... Having someone that's in a good mood all the time, even like when we're out running around, would be uh, would be really nice. I have to find someone that's like always gonna be in a good mood, you know. Or like we said, get the joy wire. What are you doing, Lin? Nothing. Oh, uh, we got skill trainer for animals in there. Yeah, they, they definitely didn't care at all. Bumped into the scorcher. Excuse me. <laughs> smoke leaf binge. Come on, guy. Isn't the smoke leaf like in the burn tunnel? I guess you guys can come up to like a beautiful environment and then the rhino get here. They're heading out. More rare than unicorns. It's so crazy when I play the community challenge because it's vanilla, we get those much more often because there's not as much. Destroying the geothermal. Oh my god. Can't cause it's a faction ally. Well, I mean... <sighs> hey, we got some stuff that you guys need to go clean up in the, uh... In the burn box, okay? Destroy sniper rifle in the burn box. Excellent. Thank you. Man, these guys kind of came in such a bad... Bad mood. They hate everything about our ideology. Okay. 
Marius Rage. Killing his friend. Perfect. 21,000 points of Rhinos. Oh no, he's being burned by super heated air. That sucks, oh no. Oh no, our allies of the Empire. Oh no. Hold the line, Stachius. Nope. Stachius did not hold the line. Boy, the game sure is chugging now. Wonder why. What could possibly be causing the game to lag? Uh, the Empire Quest said, These people you can use to protect you, and they can die without consequence. So, obviously, that means throw them in the burn box. We have to rescue those downed Empire champions. Yeah, yeah, we probably should. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, they're all dead. Unfortunate. Uh, I'm very sad. I'm torn up inside. These people had families. They had families. Had families. That's what you get for not liking mushrooms. Okay. He's hanging in there. Yeah, you're right. You can pull through. Dose, just say low. That doesn't even look like that's how it's pronounced. Uh, let's put the harmonizer down here. Psychic harmonizer. So who are our prospects for this? An Optimus psychopath? That is actually tempting. Optimus is going to make him hungry most of the time. Unfortunately, he's the priest role, so he has a... Um, he has two higher expectations. The psychopath makes it so he's not going to care when people die. Uh, static cannibal is pretty easy to keep happy. Why circle bases? Just for fun. There's another sanguine. Sanguine kind. It's one of the soldiers, though. Yeah, I think that's probably our best choice for now. Unless we want to wait on a possible vampire. Hash monkey might, might have his brain fiddled with. Air recruit the oven. Oh, no. It's completely clean. People won't steal from it. Is Prestige Cataphract Armor better than normal? It's better for Psy casters, but it has lower stats otherwise. Prestige stuff is a little bit weaker armor-wise than its counterpart, but it helps Psy casters. So, yeah, you're just better off using a normal one if you want the most uh, defense possible, and they don't have any Psy casting at all. What were you going in there for, He3? I don't know. I just wanted to see where everyone burned to death. That's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Oh, they, did they change it? I never looked again. Yeah, when Prestige first came out, it was just slightly lower. Yeah, the same as the special armor. It's just slightly lower defense. So that's interesting. Yeah, I just saw it once and I was like, yep. All right. Well, no reason to get this unless there's a Psycaster. I just never did it again. It's so weird that they made the Samurai helmet or the Prestige Marine helmet into a, a different graphic. But I didn't do that with any of the other Prestige stuff. It would be kind of cool if they made all the other Prestige stuff have a bigger graphical difference. Had other kinds of famous helmets to it. Yeah, just randomly. Randomly sam samurai helmets. All right, so uh, that will allow us to get a double wall up through there. Vat has been ejected. Vat, grab a bow and get a name. Uh, Arts. Arts. Not sure you've been in a run or not. Up it set up for early game. Um, I mean, the thing is, like, it depends on what you're starting scenario is and stuff like that. If you start as tribal, tribal wear and a um a mask is, is good enough but basically you're trying to get to button down shirt pants duster or cape and whatever the best helmet is you can get and then from there you want to get black vest black vest is the same defense as like marine armor for the chest so you're really trying to get to button down shirt pants uh duster or cape either one they have the same stats black vest and then whatever the best helmet is you can get so if that's a simple helmet in the early game or you pick up a marine helmet on a caravan or quest or maybe you only have war mass at that stage whatever all righty emerald queen let's see what we get for tier three uh what do we get vertigo pulse nice devil strand worth the effort in the first two years devil strand is worth it as long as you have your long growing um and yeah it, it's worth it it's the third best textile in the game it's the best textile that you can easily produce yourself so it, it's worth it as long as you can grow it. Oh, wood, 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 wood. As much as we can. We need it to uh, get this dried out, so. And to make more bows. Oh, we actually are getting it all. Thanks for landing out there in the freaking ocean. Appreciate that. Zone, expand the work zone to cover this. At some point, we'll have to yeah, we cover that too. Okay. Dry Ben, it's been very hard. Yeah, the early game was really, really rough. Randy's actually kind of chilled out for a while now. 
In fact, the last few hours of this has been uh, has been pretty easy. Everything has been coming through the tunnel. But I've had more deaths in this run than in almost any run the last couple of years. Uh, we've gotten close to dying multiple times. We've had people kidnapped. We had a man in black save the run. Like, been a rough one. All right, that's all dried out. All right, uh, let's get this one next. Do uh, a couple extra there. Might as well. Plan for a single moisture pump finishes. Uh, well, they do take a long time. All right, so we'll get that one dried up. And there's only one more spot, and then we can extend the wall. We're at 5,000. We're going to go ahead and uh, turn the steel off over here. Switch the miners back over. More stone. Yeah, so once this is done, we're going to turn. We're going to get this wall done. Add another maze. And then I think it's time to build the ship. Like while that stuff is happening, we can uh, we can continue getting more uh, gene packs done. Maybe start on some bionics or something. I gotta use the harmonizer. Kind of waiting to see who else we get though. We might get a better candidate. I don't know. This game is so brutal. Babies don't have much of a chance. My babies usually usually survive if they don't get eaten by zombies or something. You usually. Although we did lose a kid in this game pretty early. Don't don't think about that. Forget forget I said that actually. No children, though. All it takes is one bear to side. Yeah. Snack. Growth moment for two again. Sanguine. Can't wait one minute more. What are you doing in there? Are you a wild person? This is going to be... a long one. That should probably be enough, honestly. And then we can build that wall. Uh, what's the impressiveness of this room in here now? Extremely impressive. Okay. Just made a legendary weapon and then immediately destroyed it because that the filter is wrong. Oh man, I don't remember which run it was, but I was doing the same thing with EMP grenades on a run. I just somehow had them set to destroy them. And then we had a, a mech raid come and I was looking for the EMP grenades. I was like, wait, where are they? I know I made them. And then um, I think it was our first, maybe our first ideology run where the guy was making like um, masterwork marine helmets or something and just immediately smelting them. Same kind of thing. Feels awful. You realize you're like, oh God, what have I done? Yeah, yeah, I feel for you. Oh, Freaking smelter, hate that thing. In general, was it flag vests? Yeah, I knew it was something, something that our production specialist was making in the ideology run under the mountain. Immediately going and smell them. It's like, whoa, look at this. It's perfection. Throw it in the fire. And I've worked all season on this legendary item. This would protect someone from death from death for sure. Throw it in the fire. This guy got told me to. Raid. Hey, look at that. That wild person just grabbing a rat that we killed. Coming in. Eating it at the table. Oh, it's always so silly that wild people still prefer eating at a table. I just eat random corpses, but make sure they come in first. Oh no. Oh crap. There's a bunch of components. Well, at least you use the table. Nope. It's like, maybe we got lucky. No. Nope. At least it's raining, so we'll get some of the components back. Not them burning too. Hey, this is the part where you fall down. Imbids, more resilient than rats. With a box while it's so hot? Uh, no, they won't. That's why I have the doors on each side out, outlawed, forbidden, whatever you want to call But no, they won't. They're completely stupid. You have to make sure that they can't get in there one way or another, or else they will literally go in there when it's like 800 degrees to, to try to clean something. And as soon as they go in, they'll burst into flame and be like, oh no, I'm on fire. Boy, this is really hot, but Sky God said I can clean in here, so I guess I need to right now.